Hello and welcome to 2020. I actually filmed this like what I was going to make this video um, about a week actually exactly a week ago and then I just didn't like how it turned out so I decided okay I'm gonna refilm this. Uh, it's now uh, January 9th. <laughs> I'm at a Starbucks because where else would I be? And I got this new drink that Starbucks has or actually I don't know if it's it's new or new for the season I don't know but I haven't heard of it before and it's called a what is it called Give me a minute. it is called a <clears throat> smoked butterscotch latte and I love butterscotch I love anything sweet so I got it with almond milk instead because I'm lactose intolerant and don't want to be dying for the rest of the day so I like it. It's smoky. Like, you know, smoked butterscotch. I taste that. I'm getting a lot of foam, though. I need to start asking for drinks with less foam or, like, no foam, because to me it takes away the flavor. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay. Oh, that is really good. All right. So I brought my car mount and because of like the way my windshield is there's no way i can put this so that like it'll hold up the camera right or like i'd have to have it upside down and then i'd have to edit everything and like i don't want to deal with that so i don't know i might in the future if i feel like it but for now it's 15 dollars wasted sucks I'm gonna head over to, so I'm at a Starbucks right now in Mountain View, and I'm gonna head over to uh, this meeting I have, and yeah. So this is basically gonna be like a car vlog, welcome to 2020. Um, we're gonna drive together, even though we don't have a mount. My car has this little thing right here. So I thought like, oh cool, I can just set my camera here. And it sits pretty nicely and I think it'll uh, so it like sits there perfectly but I want it to be facing this way so we're just gonna do that hopefully I don't get in trouble I don't know I mean I have a dash cam too but you know like I don't need to use my hands for that but you know we'll just hold on to it gonna have my phone plugged in I'm gonna put in directions even though I know how to get there from here because I was uh, driving in between schools excuse me, this morning, and I was driving from East Palo Alto to Palo Alto on University Avenue, which is like the main road co basically connecting East Palo Alto and Palo Alto, and these kids were like in this, I, it was either like a Ford Expedition or like a GMC, but it, like uh, Tahoe, it was one of those big, big SUVs, and their car like got stalled in the middle of the road, and because I was like, I was waiting, just sitting in traffic thinking like, what the heck is going on? It's like not even 11 a.m. You know, it was like 10, 30, 10, 45 ish. And it took me like 15 minutes just to drive like a mile. And I was just like, what the heck is going on? And then I passed this Chevron. Like if you know the area, like you'll know what Chevron I'm talking about. And I see two East Palo Alto police cars. And I'm just like, you know, I, me being the person I'm, I'm thinking like, did someone get shot? Like, was there a drug bust? Like, does, oh, did something happen? Like, oh, what's going on? And I see like all these kids. And so like, I just assume the worst, like, oh my God, these kids just got busted for selling crack. Like, ah, you know, uh, no, their car stalled. And so they were all like pushing it like further into the gas station so that, you know, like it wouldn't be in the middle of the road. And I felt so bad for them because I'm just like, I can't imagine my car like stalling on a major road, I would cry. But like seeing the police officers, cause I saw the police first. So of course, like my mind went to like, oh my God, like something just happened, like ah. But no, it was just like these kids with the stalled car and the police were like helping them out and like directing traffic and stuff. So yeah, but because that happened and I was almost late to this last school I just taught at, uh, I'm gonna put directions on just in case I have to make a little shortcut. Meep. There we go. So we're gonna drive together. 
Yes, I know my seatbelt's on. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's a four minute drive. That, that's awesome. Okay, it looks like my usual route is fine, but we'll turn it on anyways. Head north for West Middlefield Road. Okay. So I'm gonna put my sunglasses on because it's kind of, it's like weird, like it's cloudy, but there's sun and I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna reverse. Oh dang it, I backed my car too far and I hate it when it makes that sound because then I get sad. Also, I was thinking about, so, okay. So this year, I really want to start doing more with my channel. And while I do want to do like more story times, I'd, right on to Avenue. Thank you. Uh, I'd rather focus on more of my music. Oh, this is going to be hard. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, one second. So I prefer to focus on more of my music. Um, so I'll be doing, I know for sure this month I'll be doing a vlog of when I'm in New Orleans for Folk Alliance. I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> I'm also going to do um, a like what's in my purse, what's in my bag kind of video because I've always wanted to do one. I've never had the chance and I really want to this year. But I've been thinking about like what kind of videos I want to do. And one I was really thinking about was doing a drive with me or like, you know, bad California drivers because... Uh, if you live in California, you know, we're aggressive, we're pissy, and a lot of people just don't know how to drive. Like, just Turn right on Central Express. a lot of people just don't know traffic laws. Like, I don't know how half the people in this freaking state got their licenses. So, <laughs> I'm thinking of turning that into a series, but obviously I'd need to get, like, some sort of car mount because I can't keep just turning this freaking camera. This is Turn getting right annoying. Oop. Let's see if there's somewhere else I can put you. Ooh, I think that's gonna work. <gasps> that's so much better. Okay, we're just gonna have you sit there. All right. Yeah, oh, this is so much better. Oh my goodness. And you're like just chilling and yeah, I've got my, I always have my strap with me because I never know if I'm gonna have to carry my camera like around my neck or something, but yeah. All right, woo. So this is gonna be the year I finally start posting. Oh my goodness, the sun is just getting in my face. <laughs> the lighting just got really weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the year I finally start posting consistently. If it isn't every week, I want to be posting every other week. I don't know which day of the week I want to do. I may go for Mondays for now, but we shall see. I just hope like the sound isn't weird because the road is really bumpy in this one area. Why did I change lights? I'm gonna be turning right in like less than a mile. What is, okay, anyways. Um, I'm excited for this year. A lot of things are happening. I finished my master's degree. That's like the entire reason why I kind of fell off the face of the earth last year because that was a lot of work and I just did not have the time to be, you know, teaching, studying, and you know making content like consistent content I just could not do it and on top of that you know I, I try to post as regularly as I can on Instagram and uh, Twitter I mean I go on Twitter a lot mostly just to rant because <laughs> it's kind of my outlet um, and then Instagram I try to post you know both music related things and just like personal things and then my Facebook page I've neglected pretty badly but your destination will be on the right People also don't really use Facebook anymore. So, I mean, I still use it to send to like venues and stuff. Like I've been sending a lot of um, emails out to both venues I have a relationship with and venues that I'm like just starting to reach out to because I want to see if I can play them. And I include my Facebook page because I have like over 8,000 likes and I know that does mean something. So, on my bike. I'm gonna wait for you to go because cyclists here think they're freaking cars except you're not and my big metal vehicle will destroy you but then I will go to jail for you know killing you so all right let's see here I want to find an accessible spot because oh yeah um I am now officially disabled I developed 
Well, I was injured a couple of years ago and that injury turned into something much more serious and now I have chronic pain that will not go away. I've seen multiple doctors, no one can figure out what the heck is wrong with me and I now have a disability because it's very difficult for me to walk long distances without being in a significant amount of pain. Why are all the accessible spots taken? I feel offended. Really people? Oh, I was gonna be like, if you don't have a placard, I'm gonna cut you. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna circle back around and park a little closer because all the accessible spots are taken. <laughs> okay. And this is a synagogue. Oh, this is a synagogue. It's probably all the older people who are here. <laughs> That's it, okay. Um, I am a parker at her. And we're gonna talk for a little bit and then I'm gonna head into my meeting, which is in like 15 minutes. Ooh, the sun's in my face. Okay. Boom. I have arrived. We're turning the car off. It's so weird to have a like push to start car because all my life I've driven cars that like you have to put a key in, but like I don't with this one and it's very weird. Oh, that's the other thing because I haven't really filmed anything since last year. I have a new car. <laughs> This is my child. I haven't really named her yet, but she's a beautiful blue Ford Escape because my Honda Civic Coupe was not really doing it uh, when it comes to like holding all my gear. And also my previous car was very old. It was from 1998. Um, so it was kind of falling apart. It was just constantly having issues. I drove it all the way to Monterey and back and it came back in one piece and I have no idea how. <laughs> and then north, I've driven it all the way to Vallejo, I think. I think Vallejo is the farthest north I've driven this car, or my old car. But yeah, it just, it was dying and I was just like, you know what, no. So I spent the entire year just like really working on my finances and I finally got my credit score to the point where I could get a new car. I was gonna get like a used car and in my family, like all my life, we've had Fords, Hondas, and my mom had a Chrysler minivan that actually that's the first car I learned to drive in. Um, but you know, my family, like we've just had such a good experience with Ford that we were like, you know what, well, let's just go to the dealership because we already know them. They know us, you know, like I wasn't going to be taken advantage of because like they know my dad and you know, stuff like that. So we went and, uh, I got this car. I was going to get a used car, but they were doing this deal for, uh, actually college students for new cars. And, um, you know, I was working on my master's degree and that actually counted because usually it's just like, um, like associates and bachelor degree students, but they were like, no, you count. And so I got like $500 off, which was great. And I mean, it just, it worked out really well and it would have been about the same for me to get a used car or a new car. So we were just like, what the heck? Let's, I'll just get a brand new car. Hey. And so I have a new car and I'm really happy. Yay. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Um, thought, you know, this would just be a cool little car vlog. Welcome to 2020. This is what I want to do this year. I just want to get my channel together. I want to upload more consistently. Um, I'm going to really take charge of my career this year because when I moved back from Minnesota in college, I feel that I really had to put my music career on the back burner because I needed to find a consistent form of income. And music is a very volatile, uh, it's a very volatile career because, you know, sometimes you're going to make a ton of money and sometimes you're not even going to make enough to cover gas. And that's kind of like the the situation I'm in right now. It's like sometimes I'm like, oh, hey, wow, I actually like made a good chunk of money. And other times I'm like, I made $3. So, okay, it's not that bad anymore, but when I first started it was that bad. Like sometimes I'd make like three bucks and sometimes I'd make 300 and now it's like, eh. So I really had to like find something with consistent income and, uh, music wasn't cutting it but this year I want this year to be the year I finally start saying like when people ask me like oh what's your your job and I'm like oh I'm a musician and they you know and they're like no no, no what's your actual job because people are like that and I'll be like no like music is my my actual job I just realized I've been looking in the viewfinder the whole time oh my god 
okay i'm sorry um but i just i really want to get to that point where i can truly say like music is how I make my living like that would be fantastic and I see someone else walking out to this meeting so I should go I'm hungry because it's it's a lunch meeting um yeah I don't know I think this will just be like the whole thing the whole video is just gonna be like this whole little section of you know telling you guys what the plans are for the new year um, it's gonna be music, so probably like videos of me singing. I'm gonna see while I'm in New Orleans if I can either get some videos of my showcases or I might bring my tripod if I can find it. I don't know where it is. My room is a mess. That's the other thing is for now I'm gonna be filming a lot more like in my car or like not at home because my room is just a horrific mess. It looks like a tornado like puked all my stuff out and it's just it's bad so I'm gonna have to <laughs> seriously clean my room before I like find a spot where I can film videos because right now there's literally nowhere in my apartment I can film because it's just it's been a mess it's a long story don't really want to get into it um that's another thing that was gonna be finding a place where I can you know do story times do um there's like this one series I'd like to start at some point. Um, I'm not going to give away what it is just yet, but I will say that it's going to talk about um, sexism in the music industry. Welcome to 2020. I'm excited for what this year is going to bring. Uh, I'm excited to start making more content. And if you have any video suggestions, like anything you'd like to see me do, you know, feel free to comment or let me know in some way you know my dms are open on both twitter and instagram they were actually i had them closed for a while and i didn't even realize that <laughs> until one day i was like oh my goodness people can't dm me ah! so i fixed that so feel free to dm me on on instagram or twitter um i will have all my information below and yeah happy new year and i'll talk to you in another video